Hello everybody, what is going on and welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. I hope you are all doing well. If you missed the last episode, you have to go back and watch it. We played up against Atletico Madrid. We've got them again today, but this time it is in the Super Copa semi-final. But you have to see that game. It was a crazy match. Let's just say that. We played them, they were second, we were first. And I won't spoil the result of that game. So if you're not seeing it, you'll have to check it out. But today, the Super Copa, I'm not too interested in this. We have already won it before. Um, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if we are to get knocked out to Atletico. As it is still a trophy though, I do kind of want to still win it. But if they do beat us, I won't be too fussed at all. So we'll get ourselves into this first game. Here we go then. That is our team on the screen there. Melendo starts up front, and if you did see the last video, you'll know what happened when he last played against this Atletico side. The Ligt captains us, playing at left back, Zinchenko in central defensive midfield. We'll check out their team when we get into this game. One or two changes from the last time he played against them. Serge Nabry on the left, I think as well. No Milinkovic Savic, he must be on the bench for them. Yeah, um, we'll see how that team plays against us this time around. It's going to show us ours here, but we already know who is starting the game. So we'll skip through that and it will be them to get this game off and running. Zinchenko towards Melendo, the back heel through to Goretzka. It's lovely football and offside. The flag went up. Oblak made the save anyway. So even if we were onside, it was, uh, it was saved. And it is the right decision as well. Goretzka there, back to goal. Maybe he should have tried to turn the other way and had a shot himself, but selflessly lays it across. A minute to go, plus injury time of this first half. A much different game than we saw last time between these two sides as Melendo finds a little bit of space inside that penalty area. And you would have expected him to hit the back of the net with that, but hit it towards Oblak, who pulls off the save. And now then, the last minute of injury time. Melendo with the corner, sent in towards the middle. Patrick Catrone is back there to head it out. And it looks like we'll see a nil-nil of the first half here. Melendo here, able to maybe get something from this as he finds a great ball through. Rashika! Offside. Offside. How close is this? Oh. My. I mean, it's right, but it's a matter of inches. Offside. Fair enough. Great spot by the official. And it remains nil-nil. Looking for some support going forward here. And there's the ball through towards Goretzka. On the inside, it's Rashika. On inside of him, it's Melendo! And we were waiting for the goal to come our way. It just had to be Melendo, didn't it? It's so well worked. And there's maybe... Two chances before this where we could have actually hit the shot. But no, we lay the ball back inside. Goretzka initially here. No, I think he has to play the pass. And then there, Rashika certainly could have shot himself. He lays it across. Melendo takes it on. Oblak got a touch to it. But not enough to keep it out. You've got to give credit the way of Atletico. They've been a lot better in this game. And they have given us a bit of more of a tough game here. But really... The way that it's been playing out, we've looked the, the more likely. We've been the one asking the questions. We're the team looking for those attacks. And Atletico are sort of reacting to our plays at the moment. We take the lead and we'll see what reaction that gets then. Because maybe if they start to step up a bit more, they'll certainly have the quality out there to get themselves back in this. But they might leave themselves exposed on the counter-attack. Lovely ball down the line here. Now Klosterman on the attack as he gets the cross towards the near post. Rice with the initial header away. Only as far as Dallo. He takes the touch. He goes past the challenge. Diogo Dallo still got it. And Allison makes the save down to his right. Here is Delict. Ball through towards Jesus. And somehow he turns. And that's surely to be 2 0. Where were Atletico's defenders there? It seemed all too easy for Jesus to make that run. Spotted by Delict. The ball through, and then he gets into a position where he can put it across the face of goal. The substitute, Werner, scores again. He's been popping up with a few goals recently. I'm wondering there, Anderson, who otherwise has had a very good game here. So that kind of is not nice to see when he's played so well. I'm wondering if he's trying to play an offside trap, but the rest of his team just doesn't quite get on the same page. I'm not sure. 
But in any case, it's 2-0 Barca. And we are heading through to a Super Copper final, which arguably, from this point forward, our toughest opponents, I would say, would have been Atletico. But they're not going to be in it in that final. So we'll see who we will face up against as Barrow finding Werner now back to us. It's lovely football as Werner goes to hit it on the left foot. Narrowly wide. Delict on the left-hand side. And that is a poor cross, but it doesn't matter because the full-time whistle is sounded. It is a 2-0 victory for us. We advance through to the Super Copper final. And really, now we've seen two games against the team challenging us for the title this year. The current holders. And I've got to say... I think we're the favourites. I mean, I'm saying that. You saw the win we got against them in the last video. We should definitely be favourites after that. But to play them twice in a row, beat them on both occasions and really be in control of both games says a lot about our uh, title credentials this season, really. Let's see who we face in the final itself. And it will be Real Sociedad in the final. I'm not sure where they are in the league. I guess we'll take a look at that very quickly. They played Real Madrid... And one on penalties, 5-4. In terms of their league position right now, they sit fourth. So it might not be as easy game as we're expecting. Look at that, by the way. 18 games, 18 wins. I just, I just love seeing that because I know how much we've tried in this series to win a league title. And it's not happened for us yet. But to have won 18 out of 18, yeah, it's so cool to see. Goal difference as well is not too bad for us. One behind Atletico, so we can still make that work. But Real Sociedad in the final then. And it'll be nice to get our hands on another trophy if we can. It's not our priority this season by any means. But it's, uh, it's still something to play for. With it being a final as well, we will up the minutes to seven, a half. It might be our last game of today. I've not yet decided. We'll see what happens in the game itself. Um, I don't want to take anything away from this. And we'll see what we can do. We'll wear the green for Sociedad. So let's go game settings up to seven minutes. And see what they bring to the table. Looks like an unchanged 11. In fact, no. Alenia's in. Gaia's in. So Zinchenko and Goretzka both drop out of the starting 11. But other than that, it is unchanged. The two teams make their way out. And there is the trophy on offer for one of these two today. We'll see what Sociedad have to offer in terms of their team selection. We are favourites. No doubt about it. Players to watch. Melendo, four goals in his last three matches. And I think they've all been against you-know-who. On the other side, uh, Jonathan David, who is a quality player. This is the Sociedad 11 then. Oli McBurney up front. Ayazabal in there still as well. Surprised to see him still at the club. Joe Gomez in central defence. I said they would have a good squad. And it is a very good team. Here is Oli McBurney for Sociedad. Goes out to the right-hand side. David with the efforts. And that is why he was highlighted as the danger man before kickoff. What a finish. Oh, man. Early stages of this game, actually. Sociedad got themselves on the ball quite a fair amount, just trying to sort of ease their way into it and calm any nerves they may have had. And they're not playing like they've got any nerves. A lovely, well-crafted move. And what a finish it is from their number eight. No chance for Alisson. I'm sure many people would not have predicted this, that we'd fall a goal to nil down in this game. But that is the way it's going. There's still a long, long way to go. But we need to wake ourselves up because so far, we've not started in this game. I mean, that pass there from Ashika kind of shows you how we are playing in this game. 56 minutes in and not really a good chance to show you from as McBurney there has a ball forward. Chooses instead to use this ball out to the right-hand side. They switch the play over to the left. One team very happy with their performance so far. And I, I'll safely say it's not us. Change coming through. Elena goes off. And it looks like a substitution as well again is happening. So it seems like we made a double change there. Torreira's on. And I believe Werner will be the other change. No, Piontek instead. If Sociedad make this 2-0, that's game. And they're coming forward. The ball towards the back. Ayazabal sends it back in. Marquinhos will block the first. That's somehow wide. I thought that was 2-0. A minute and a half to play. We need a goal and we need it now. The ball from the corner. Delict chooses to control it instead of shooting. Romario, it's blocked. It will be another corner. 
But time is ticking away here of a game that honestly has been poor from us. Piontek delivers. Rice with the header. Hits the defender. Cleared away as well. Sociedad just trying to survive right now. And it looks like they'll do it. Ayazabal brings the ball under control with a minute and a half left of injury time now. That's going to be it. We've lost the Super Copper final. And the game has been so low quality as well. I can't really even hype it up. Other than the David shot, which was, don't get me wrong, a, an incredible finish. Such a poor display. Really has been. That's disappointing as well, considering the way we played in our last two games. And then we come into this. I did say that they'd be a tough opponent. They've got a good squad. And they've beaten us in the Super Copper. I guess we'll, we'll look at them lifting the trophy. But I'm honestly not too bothered about the fact we've lost it. I'm more bothered about our actual performance. I'm not even sure what's to come after this in this game. I'm going to give you guys another match, definitely, because this was really low chance, low low creation game, really. So I don't want to end it there. But yeah, we'll play another game, definitely. It'll be back in the league, and we've got to improve. So congratulations to Sociedad. They win themselves a trophy. We go back, though, to the league, and let's see what happens in our next game then. Seventh placed Ibar to finish today away from home. And then we've got a couple of winnable games. First up in the cup and then Tenerife away as well that I'll play as postcom to start the next episode. So Ibar, we've got to get ourselves three points. It's the only league game of today. And we'll try and keep our five point gap at the top of the table. Team of the year for 2026 is announced. Who has made it? I can already see three Atletico players. All Black is the goalkeeper. Kimmich, Kimpembe, Lengle and Kessia at the back four. Lacelso, Milinkovic, Savic, Nabri, Van der Beek in the midfield. Felix and Mbappe as the front two. So we haven't made it for 2026. It is what it is, man. Um, yeah, we'll just try again next year, I guess. But what did we even do in 2027? We didn't win, or 2026 even, we didn't win anything, right? So, uh, again, I understand that. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. We haven't really hit the heights of the past series during this year's My Player, but it'll make that league win and any other awards we get even sweeter when they do come around. Zinchenko with the ball through. Rashika, what a save from Ibar's goalkeeper. Goretzka with the ball through. He will find us as well. Now a bit of trickery maybe to open up the space. We found the pass out wide to Jesus. Who needs to try and get a shot away if he's going to. Lovely feet. And the save in at the near post. First 15 minutes. We have been camped inside Ibar's half. We've not allowed them really out. It's a long ball they need to try and find to get themselves out. And every time they do, it comes straight back at them. That corner into the head of Marquinhos. A weak header though. Clearance away, but that's exactly what I just said. As soon as they get it away, it's coming straight back at them. Rice, lovely ball through. Shot comes in again. How is this keeper just doing this then? Two really good saves. How long can Ibar withstand this pressure? Because at this moment in time, as the Ligt heads that back in, there's the answer. Not long enough. The Ligt, a very good header indeed to beat the keeper from there. That goal was coming, really, though, wasn't it? Commentators cursed. As soon as I said, how long are they going to last in withstanding the pressure? We score. How has he scored this, actually, though, from that angle? Torreira with the ball at his feet. Plays the ball through. We've got Werner just in front of us. And what a finish from Timo Werner. To be fair to Ibar, 10 minutes to go. They did a rather good job of keeping it down at 1-0. We've had a number of shots today, but they've all been pretty routine saves to the goalkeeper. Uh, we've hit a lot of our shots pretty much straight at him, which is why I've not really shown you them. They've been from areas as well where we've had to kind of just shoot and not really in positions that you'd expect us to score. Hence why they've been routine saves. Flip side of that, Ibar have offered nothing going forward. I can't even recall Alisson making a save yet. So safe to say we haven't had a lot to do at that end. And there is the full-time whistle. It finishes 2-0 in our final game of the day. It's nice to get back to a win after that 1-0 defeat to Sociedad, albeit in the league. It keeps us 100% win rate, 19 from 19. And as I said, 
We will uh, we'll start the next episode with those couple of games that will be post-com as we are expected to win both of those, I would say. Tenerife and a cup game. I can't remember who that's against. So that will keep us five clear depending on, on what Atletico have done. We'll check out that and I'll sign the episode off there. The league table as we go today then. Five points, still the gap. Atletico did win their game. They won it by two goals to nil up against Espanyol. For the Champions League, I'm pretty sure I've already shown you our draw. But there it is in case I haven't. Roma are the, the team that we've got in the round of 16. And that will be in February, I believe, is the first leg of that one. So we're still in the Champions League. That's still to play for. The Copa de España will be started in the next episode as we take on Alcorcon. I hope I've said that right. Probably got it wrong. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching this episode. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, a huge thank you for all of the support on the channel. If you are new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below to help me get one step closer to 100,000 subs. I will see you all tomorrow with another video as we wrap up the Premier League season in our Road to Glory career mode. So you do not want to miss it. We are fighting for a league title in that series with Manchester City and it's a point in it, really. So don't miss it. As for the My Player, though, I will see you back here on Tuesday for another episode in the series. Until then, stay safe, have a great day, have a great evening and I'll catch you all again soon. Adios!